Now's the time for you to learn how to use Adobe Illustrator. The next section of the tape will take you in a step-by-step -step process through each of the tools. When you're through, we hope that you will have as much fun using Adobe Illustrator as we've had in producing the program. Good luck. First thing we need to do is launch the program. We go up and double-click the Adobe Illustrator icon. Now we need to open a template. So we pull down the file menu and let up on the open. We'll now open up a folder that has two templates. A simple pass template is the first one we'll select. This background now comes up on the screen. We use the hand icon to position the curves so they're convenient to use. We use the magnifying glass tool to zoom in so that we can see the curve more clearly. The pen tool is the basic drawing instrument. Notice that it starts out as next. We click and we drag. This basic motion is fundamental in Illustrator. We press down and we pull in the direction of the curve. This establishes a direction line that is tangent at the curve at the point we place down. The point we place down is called an anchor point. We can adjust this direction to match the direction of the curve. We now take a single hump and we press and pull again and watch the curve change until it matches the template. This is the basic curve construction technique in Illustrator. To modify a curve, we use the Select tool. We can pull down on a part of the curve itself and change its shape there, keeping the directions the same. We can press down on an anchor point and drag it around, modifying where any of the anchor points are positioned. Or we can go to the other end and use the other anchor point. The third way of editing a curve is to use the direction points at the end of the direction lines. That changes the slope of the curve at the anchor point. By modifying these direction lines, we have the opportunity to change the way the direction of the curve goes from the beginning to the end of the line segment. Finishing this curve, we will now position using the scroll bars to the next set of curves. Here we will use the Option key on the magnifying glass to back away from the drawing. Use the Hand tool again to position ourselves on the screen. Now using the basic pen tool, we will again click and drag in the direction of the curve. Go over sort of one single hump, click and drag again. Go through one single hump, press and drag to get the curve to fit the way we want it. This takes a little practice, but you get good at it after a while. Here we press and drag. Notice that the direction lines are tangent to the curve at the anchor points. We'll now finish off the curve. Oops! Notice that when we go off the screen, the program automatically adjusts the view on the screen so that the cursor will remain on the screen surface. We'll now go down to the next set, which is a fairly simple set of straight lines. Straight lines are easy to do in Illustrator. We go to the pen tool and we merely click. Rather than pressing and dragging, we just click on the endpoints. So we click, we click, we click again. Here there's a problem because I wanted that line to be horizontal, but you'll notice that it's not. It has stair steps in it. I'm going to finish off this and then hit backspace twice to get rid of this curve so that I can redo it. I'm going back to the pen tool. Now when I click, I will hold down the shift key on this section to make sure that the line is horizontal. The shift key constrains to horizontal and vertical and 45 degree angle lines. This is a very useful tool. The next set is a fairly complicated set of curves. We have a curve section followed by a horizontal straight section followed by curve sections, etc. Oops, I made a mistake. Let me explain what's happened here. Notice that the cursor is across 
as opposed to a next. That means what I've done is I've completed the last template and rather than going back and clicking the pen tool to start a new template, I've just continued, inadvertently continued, to build on to the last path. To remedy this situation, what I'm going to do is undo the last operation. I will hit backspace, which will eliminate it. Now I will click the pen, and now I've got a cross. To continue, I press and drag to start the curve. I press and drag again, and now what I'm going to do is indicate that I've got a corner point between the curve segment and the straight line segment. What I have to do with the pen at this stage is to press down again on the last anchor point while holding the Option key. That pressing the Option key and clicking on the anchor point will establish the beginning of a straight line. So I click. Now I come across and click again while holding the Shift key. That establishes a straight line. Holding the Option key and dragging establishes a new direction line. Clicking and dragging again. Hold the Option key, hold the Shift key, click and drag. Now hold the Option key again, click and drag. This establishes the discontinuities between the straight and curved lines. We now have completed this rather difficult set of curves. To do the last set, we click and drag in the same manner as we have done before. Establishing direction points, clicking and dragging. Now holding the Option key and re-clicking the anchor point, we can establish a new direction between the two curves. This produces the sharp points between the curves, the corner points. Here we click and drag while holding the Option key, indicating to the program that new directions are to be established at each of these lines. To see all of our work, we can now double-click the Hand tool and it will show us the full page with all of our templates.